This is actually my third time and, I'm, and I've joined it every, every single uh, uh, time. Uh, it's great to see my ex-teammates, uh, friends, uh, opponents, uh, coaches, uh, to update, uh, on, to get an update on their lives. Uh, it's, I think it's a great event, it's growing every year. And I want to thank the Euroleague, the one, the one team uh, uh, story for reminding me and uh, hopefully I'll uh, keep coming. <laughs> You know, the, you guys were a little bit slower, but quality was there. I was playing again with all these guys. I think that today nobody really wanted to shine like we used to. I think it was all about the kids and, uh, you know, uh, supporting the one team story, uh, which is great because this is the first year that actually the whole uh, 40 teams in Euroleague joined the, uh, the one team program. Uh, it's obviously a good program. Euroleague is doing a great job of promoting it. Uh, that's why I think we all understand that we're not in the best shapes uh, to play maybe on this uh, hard uh, concrete floor. Uh, so it's just about interacting, uh, being here for the fans and promoting the whole story. And it's the second year of this new Euroleague format. Uh, do you believe that that brought more competitiveness to the tournament? Definitely. I think last year was really great because it was the first time. And uh, everybody got the chance to play Panathinaikos at home and on the road and have CSKA come to to, to their hometown, which is uh, as far as uh, media goes and uh, ticket sales and just selling the whole brand of Euroleague and uh, the, uh, promoting your own team, uh, the best thing that can happen. Before it was, if you got lucky, you played CSKA once in a season or Panathinaikos once or Real maybe once or twice. Now it's a sure thing. So I think that was great. And really, last year everybody was excited about that. This year, uh, you just need to make Some a line here. Small problems have shown, uh, but before, from the point of uh, players being too tired, injuries being a part of a big part of the, uh, the season. So uh, I think they will work on that, and it will just uh, keep improving. And uh, oh, yeah. the Eurobasket made history. What made this team to win the cup? What made this team so special? Well, I think it was a gel of all all the factors. I think the uh, the coach was great. The, 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 the NBA superstar yes. the Goran Dragic uh, made the, the best he could. Uh, he, uh, uh, let's say, Rose uh, would look at Doncic, yes. and everybody just, everybody else just kind of filled the gaps. And it was a Cinderella story that was successful all the way to the end. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't think it will happen again. Uh, we're all very proud for Slovenia. This is gigantic. I mean, I can't even explain it. And uh, it's a great boost uh, to our country, promotional-wise. And we're all very proud of the guys and uh, just enjoying the moment. And finally, I want to have your words about the Wonder Kid, the Luka Doncic. Uh, do you believe that he can make, uh, he can meet expectations even if he decides to go to the NBA? No, I think Luka will go to the NBA. It's just a question of this year or next year. I think he will do well. It will take time to adjust. But after a while, I think uh, he'll become a, a factor, if not a superstar in the NBA. Thank you so much. You're welcome.